What is going on YouTube? It's the Elite Ace again with another video request. This video request today is from none other. Let's see. I hope I'm saying your name right. Flynn the Man 90. Um he writes, hey bro, like your videos, especially your ideas on bleach. You're probably sick of doing these requests, but I was wondering what you thought on this question. How will Bleach ultimately end? I was thinking about this yesterday. I was thinking that maybe it might involve something similar to Ichigo or Hime Rukia dying, most of the captains being injured, killed in the final act. Or maybe even if you think Bleach will have a happy or sad ending. All right. Now, first let me say, I'm not sick, you know, sick or tired of the uh, video requests. Like I said, this is, um, it surprised me at first, like when I announced that I was going to be moving soon and, you know, I was going to be doing video requests. I mean, I will always do video requests, but this is the best time, if any, you know, to ask because I would do my best to, you know, fit it in. So, but yeah, like I said, I like to see that people want to know what I think on certain things, whether it's bleach, a game, in, in Pretty much anything, um, but I know it mostly revolves around um, anime, manga, or games. Um, but how will I? How do I think Bleach will ultimately end? Um, you know what? At this point, you know there are a lot of theories going around. I have my thoughts myself, of course. I know that's what you want to know. Since this is now, since Bleach is now in its final arc, I think, of course, there will be more deaths. I really do. I think that a captain will die. With the ending of Bleach, I think it will not be this Goldie 13 as it is now. Now, as we can see, they were. We see there's three changes in the Goatee 13 since the beginning of Bleach. You know, Aizen, Tosin, and Gein. All of their squads are replaced now. However, technically, like I said in one of my previous videos, these current, the current captains that took over Aizen squad, Gein squad, and Tosin squad, these, you know, this was their squad in the, in the beginning, in the first place. Um, but yeah, I don't think when Bleach ends, I don't see this being, you know, the same, you know, like, just, like, someone is going to die. Yes, we see the changes. Kermit Moore has armor pieces. So we phone as long. We see the, uh, the uh, new captains, the visors that have taken back their, um, their positions. And uh, old man, y'all has one arm. Yeah, you know, you see the changes in the Goldie 13, but the official changes were, were for Bleach to end. I do think there will be a death in the, uh, in the, um. Oh man, and the Goody 13. I don't know why, but I feel it might be Shunsui. I, I don't know why. Ever since I read, and I'm not fully basing off of this, ever since I read that uh, Shunsui is going to have to go Bunkai. I mean, like I said, I'm not saying just because someone has bunk, go, you know, goes Bunkai, I mean they're going to die, but I don't know why. I just think it's going to be a devastating loss, like, for, like you know, a devastating death. To me, soy phone if she was to die, that wouldn't death. Oh man. And it's not and I'm not going for favoritism because she's a cool character. I think if Shonsui or Okotaki were to die, it will make it such a big impact because they are they are the they are the two original senior captains like of their squad. And old man Yama, you know, he looks at them like, you know, his own two sons. I think that would be a big impact all throughout Bleach. And I know it'll make a domino effect. Uh, Rukia will be hurt, you know, um, Asane, her sister, I forget her name, who was um, under Ukataki, she will be devastated. Um, it, it'll just be, I like the major key kids, like, can you imagine if Biaki would die or uh, Kenpachi? But I know the only way Kenpachi was supposed to be died for new Kenpachi come in. But uh, let's see, as far as the ending, I can honestly say, I don't know who the main villain will be like for the final 
final, final showdown. I don't know why, but I don't think it, this main, this new villain, the big guy who guys on Getsu, um, I don't know why I feel he's going to be a long-term villain, but I don't see him being like the main villain. Like, all right, Ichigo, just me and you, final fight, you know, let's do this kind of, I mean, I, I just don't see it. But, you know, Kubo was full of surprises. Maybe he would take us for a loop and he acquires some kind of new power, but then again, I don't know, because you see Aizen, he acquires new power, a la Hokyoku. I don't know, it, but that's what makes the curiosity factor so high. It's like, with Bleach, maybe other works too, but for me, with Bleach, I just have to know. Because I don't think this name Quincy guy, I believe he's a Quincy, this main Quincy guy is going to be, it's the all over main villain due to the fact that you know, Royal Guard is stepping in, the Spirit King. Some say the Spirit King might turn out being the main villain, but I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but that's the thing, if the Spirit, like who could take on the Spirit King? I know no one is stronger than the main character, but the only, if, if each goes to take on the Spirit King and defeat the Spirit King, which I know sounds far-fetched because of the reason, and the amount of power, of course, at this point, Ichigo's backstory would have to be explained very well. Everything would have to make sense, but that's still far-fetched. Um, the way it'll end, let's see, believe it or not, hold on to your caps, Rukia fans. If Rukia was to die, I would not care. It'll be catastrophic in the universe of Bleach. You know, it'll be interesting to see. The other characters' reactions. I know Ichigo will be hurting all this, and I know, or Biakua. I don't know why he, <laughs> you know, yeah, hey, you know how he'll be about it. But, uh, hmm. I think as far as the ending go, it will be one of those endings where it might be, some say this might be kind of typical or cliche when. Where, where it ends, you know, excuse me, there will be some losses. There will be some casualties. Some damage will be done. But it'll be one of them things, you know, each go, you probably look back on everything. Everything and think like, you know what? Hey, I saved the day, you know, I saved this and that. I'm going to continue to be a substitute so we, just because I stopped this threat doesn't stop hollows I'm gonna still do my duty and maintain the balance in the universe as a substitute soldier you know or protect my friends as long as I have this power everyone can be safe that might be it I don't know so, um I thought about this at one point if if it was another series of bleach or bleach would end with or he man Ichigo clicking up having a kid the only reason I say that oh man excuse me only reason I say that is because Maybe I'm looking too much into it. The color of their hair, you know, or he made his hair, Ichigo's hair, and I know it's not exactly identical, but hey, you know, it, I think it'd be cool to see Ichigo have a son, you know, and his son looking up to his dad, which would be Ichigo, and Ichigo has his father, Inshin, you know, all that kind of uh, good stuff. Or maybe to go off with or he made, you know, it'd do a a, a quick time skip. To show what's happening. Maybe. Maybe throughout the series. Throughout the manga. Or after. It'll do a three year time skip. Because remember what. Uh, uh, what was that? Yukio? Whatever. The PSP boy. The uh, full bringer. He told Jackie. Like look. In three years. You know. I have everything up and running. Y'all can work for me. Three years. So. Hey. I guess three years from now, each go 17, it'd be 20. It'd be interesting to see each go at 20, all the rest of his friends, fully, fully, fully grown. I remember when the beginning of the arc started, the full bring arc, you were saying each go was saving up money trying to move out. We know that's been postponed. Uh, really, I don't even think each go still has that job anymore. <laughs> he probably got fired, or you know, something always gets in the way to prevent him from doing whatever. And, and there's no telling how his grades are. Obviously, he's uh. He graduated because, you know, I did the time skip. But anyway, it's, it's a little bit too early 
to fully tell, but I just think that it won't end with a bad ending, no. It'll end with a good, okay, ending slash you know that there's still activity going on in the Bleach universe. Because I believe just because like the last issue, the last chapter is drawn, everything stops. Like, well, no more duties, no more uh, hollows, no more, no, no. I think, you know, the universe will still go on, but you just never know what happened. I remember when Gundam Wing and Liz Watts at the end of that movie, they swore, you know, no more mobile suits and peace has been restored to mankind and there would be no more Gundams, this and that. And now, the Frozen Teardrop, Gundam Wing, uh, Frozen Teardrop manga comes out. It's in the future. The Gundam Wing pilots, a lot of them got sons now. They have new, like, it, it, it went on. But there, but in between Gundam Wing, Frozen Teardrop, and Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz, there was activity. So, I just don't think it'd be like, oh, that's it, main villain's gone. Everybody say their goodbyes. That's it. No, it, it, it'll, we will get closure. I know Bleach will end with closure. When I mean closure, all answers and everything revealed. That I do know for sure. Well, that that's what I feel for sure because um, arcs can take years. You know, Kubo claims he plans on having Bleach go on nine to ten years. You know, some is thinking like, uh, this final arc, I don't think so uh, because you know, arc at the most four or five years. That the Iran car arc went on for four. That was a pretty uh, long time. But this is the thing. In the interview, the things he was saying that he wanted to uh, draw. I mean, there there are some backstories and things that he want to draw that is going to put the main current story on hold. Like, for example, we could be reading, you know, reading a chapter, and it's over. Next thing you know, next chapter, huh? Oh, this is Kipachi's backstory. Huh? Because he said he wanted to draw the reason why Kipachi joined the Goldie 13. Because think about it. Why would Kenpachi want to join the Goatee 13? To fight Hollows? No. He can do that in any witch or where. So why? To fight amongst, to fight against Soul Reapers? He can do that. I mean, he would, look, look at the district he was in. He just fight. Just, so I don't think he just joined the Goatee 13 just to fight. That would be because he likes to fight. To fight, fight. To the death. And being part of Goldie 13, you can't kill your subordinates, obviously. So, and they, they're they not going to send captains, excuse me, they're not going to send captains to the world of living to just slay some hollows, just just some normal petty hollows. That's why they have lieutenants and seated officers for that kind of thing. What else? Um, Ichigo's father's backstory. Also, Ichigo's backstory. All those kind of things. Um, and he said, oh, Kubo did say he's going to explain where uh, Shonsui got his other uh, role from with the uh, colors and everything. He said it plays a real good sentimental role to him. So who knows where it's from, where he got it from. But yeah, that's my whole take on it. Um, like I said, a little bit too early to tell, but you never know. I will, of course, you know, in the future, do uh, Bleach Reviews. Now, I've been getting a few requests for that. And, you know, that, that, you know I, I, I'm honored. I am. But uh, I'm giving a little bit more time. You you will see why in the future it all makes sense. Like like how Kubo does. You'll be like, oh, okay. You know, that's, you know, for that reason why. But, you know. Yeah, so. Um, let me check the name again. I don't want to get it wrong. Flynn the Man 90. There we go. I hope this video is to your liking. I hope I'll put some other uh, ideas and thoughts into your head. If I missed out anything, I apologize. If I got your name wrong, I apologize. For the, and for the ones who did not request this video, of course, I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, keep on um, watching the vids. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Send me a personal message or an inbox. I will do my best get back to you if you don't see anything from me don't think like I said up before don't think I'm I'm ignoring you blowing you off but of course we all have lives outside of this of course this is a part of my life but you know what I mean but if this is the elite ace I'm signing out thank you all for watching